You love built-ins? Kids love carpets. Can you have it all in one room? Hi, I'm Nathan Harrison for FindRemodel.com. You love built-in cabinets and you love your kids. And your kids love carpets. But do built-in cabinets and carpets mix? Well, they do if you know how to do it right. Let's take a look. If you're planning to have built-ins in a room with carpet, you need to think about exactly how you're going to deal with the carpet. Now why would it be a problem just to set it on the carpet? Here's the problem. When the cabinets are first set on the carpet and fastened to the wall, the cabinets are very happy. There's no strain on them. But then as you load them full of stuff, which of course is what cabinets are for, they're going to press down into the carpet and this is going to create strange loads on different parts of the cabinet. Now, very well made cabinets can handle that, but why push your luck if there's a simple remedy to keep this settling from happening? Let's take a quick look at what's under a carpet. Here we have a carpet coming to a baseboard, then sheetrock behind the baseboard. Here we can see with the carpet pulled back the carpet tack strip, which is a wooden strip that's nailed to the subfloor and has a little nail sticking up to catch and secure the carpets along the walls. And then we have the carpet pad, this pink thing underneath. So close to the wall, the cabinet uh, doesn't have the ability to settle very much, but further out, it's much more cushy and there can be a lot more settling further out. Now many people would tell you just to cut the carpet and run new tack strip along the edges of your cabinets. But this involves a careful cut and retacking around potentially complex shapes. For example, with this uh, complex of built in cabinets, we'd be cutting around this, back to the wall, coming out from the wall, along the front here, and back. First of all, it's a lot of work, and there's a lot that can go wrong what if the cabinet man cuts the carpet wrong so it's turning into a big headache but I have good news using my method you can leave the carpet in place and simply place the cabinets on the carpet and there's one really big hidden benefit that I'll get to in a moment now you may say okay we're going to have carpet underneath these cabinets but what if we want to go to hardwoods later or we want to change the carpet later what will we do well you'll simply cut the carpet around these cabinets and cut in the new carpet or floor around them and it will be our secret that the old carpet is still under there I won't tell now here's the key to making all this work we want to design the cabinets with detached bases made of three-quarter inch plywood like this except no substitutes we need three-quarter inch plywood with these diagonal gussets around the bottom on one side I'm shown this one is shown standing up on its side it's also very important that the gussets be stapled in from the outside well stapled now here is a detached base that's shown in an actual built-in cabinet installation. You'll notice it's been painted the same color as the cabinets. Here's a tip. If you design these detached bases to be the same height as the base, then you don't even have to remove the existing base along the wall in your house. This is a huge bonus, especially if you have uh, old or very special base. Now the detached base I have shown here is a much taller one that was for a special situation, but it's uh, still valid nonetheless. So to begin the installation you simply put it up against the base and then you would screw down through all four of these gussets firmly down through the carpet, through the pad, and into the subfloor we want this detached base to be held down so tightly by the screws 
that no reasonable amount of weight on the cabinets could push them down any more. Once the bases are secure, we simply set the cabinets on top and shim as necessary and screw to the wall. Now remember, the cabinets being screwed to the wall means that much of the load on the cabinets should be transferred back to the studs. But now it doesn't matter because the base that we have on the carpet is firm, it's not going to settle, it's not going anywhere. Now having a detached base means that we have separate pieces. So how do we hide that crack? Well, in this case you can see I've used what's called a negative reveal. The detached base was made a little bit smaller than the cabinet so that a normal person standing in the room can only see that there's a, a recess. They cannot see the crack itself. It's very pleasing to the eye. Another method is what's shown here where detached base was set on the carpet, cabinets were set on that, and then the detached base was completely hidden by a piece of base that runs flush with the doors and is scribed to the carpet.